Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What is going on, Entertainment Tim Tam coming to y'all with another video. We're doing a Zoo Town Hall and a Baddies Caribbean update, okay? Last time I did an update, we all found out that Asian went to the Caribbeans, of course, and where I got a black eye. So pictures have resurfaced. Shout out to Real TV Gone Bad and poor Mariah. I mean, it's not anything to play with. I really feel bad <laughs> for Mariah. But then again, I don't. You did say bring her here. So she got brought and, you know, she did it here to your eye. Okay? So we know she's going to be shaded down while in Puerto Rico. All right? Now, it's no confirmation as to when Asia's returning. Because after she did her big one in Puerto Rico, she has left. So who knows if she's going to go to any of the islands um, soon, but she is no longer with them anymore. She might be like a guest appearance like we had Miss Tommy. Now, speaking of Tommy, y'all, Tommy is not playing any games with Lemmy Pepper and Nat Nat, okay? She called Nat Nat and Lemmy Pepper uh, one Lemmy Pepper for owing her some moolah and also Nat Nat for trying to get her in the clinker. And send me my motherfucking money for real. It's going there. Because I got to have fighting with your motherfucking security suit with niggas. All type of shit I ain't talk about. Everything on wax. Now, now we playing games. Now I'm with the bullshit for real. Like, yo bitch ass, you better send me my motherfucking money. And her bitch ass, bitch, I got something for you too. I don't play police games. That ain't really my style. But bitch, I got something for you too. Stop playing with a real nigga. Everybody know I've been head up with this probation shit five years. My whole thing that confused me about this clip, because it was uploaded to my shorts. What happened to the 250K? Because the way Tommy was talking, you would have thought they gave her the money in cash while she rode away on her horse into the Barbados sunset. I thought you got the money already, Tommy. What happened? Okay. You was in Barbados cashing a Zeus check. Now he give you the money yet, man. But then again, he probably they're probably waiting till the season is starting so that way she fulfills all her duties. Cause you all know Zeus, they have you post on Instagram and so on and so forth. Then five of them, five of them clean ain't did nothing, not a nothing, not a nothing to get myself in trouble. Everything you've seen been dropped. Stop playing with me, please stop playing with me. I got a family too, bitch. That depend on me. The fuck is you talking about? Fuck you hoes. I'm telling you, it's up there. And let me. I want to say last night. Shout out to Krishan. Shout out to Krishan. Shout out to Rock because she put me on the phone with Sky. Bomb. We chopping it up. Ooh. -ooh. She like, oh y'all should just apologize. This, this, that. I'm not really for the apology shit because I ain't do nothing to you. Y'all started with me. Bomb. Fast forward to the motherfucking shit when Natalie is telling her, send me to jail. Nah, get that bitch locked up. It's all in the motherfucking messages. We got paperwork, all type of shit. Get me locked up saying I had a gun at a motherfucking restaurant. Like, what I look like having a gun at a restaurant? Now, Tommy, please don't act like you wouldn't carry a Glock in that Chanel. Let's not do that. Because you give me the type. Designer, but with a little bit of hood. Let's not add brand new now, Tommy. So she's referring to the whole rumor, which wasn't 100% confirmed, but it was a whole release about how allegedly DJ Sky had a pow pow pulled out on her by Tommy. Now, Tommy has denied this and claims that this wasn't true, which she just did now. So that's what I guess she was referring to. And I guess Nat Nat was in DJ Sky's ear, like put her behind bars. All right, so she's an animal. Okay. Like, what do that, how do that even correlate? How that make sense? You telling this hoe to get me locked up? Like, y'all weird as fuck over there. Bitch, I don't be paying this hoe no mind. You feel me? Why would you ever say that? Why would you ever say get her locked up? She on pro, but like, bitch, y'all be on some real weird shit playing with people's livelihood. And I want to say last night. Okay. Now, I do think, though, 
if it did happen, Nat Nat wouldn't have been able to really do anything because they probably would have got her anyway, especially at the time of her probation and everything. So I really don't believe the story actually happened uh, with the whole pow pow, to be honest. But I do think she had a pow pow in her purse. Well, let, I think that happened. Okay. Now, uh, the baddies, you guys are having a good old time in the Caribbean. Here's a picture of some of the baddies together. All the baddies. Nally looks like the porn star Pink. Y'all remember Pink with the pink hair? Nally's giving me pink in this picture. Okay. Tasiki's looking more and more like her sisters and Krishan. All right. And then Jayla's doing her best to cover that scar. <laughs> Who oh, bit Jayla? I done told y'all my source told me it was Callie. All right. That's what I was told. Might be wrong, but that's what I was told. They haven't steered me wrong before. Okay. Speaking of more of the baddies, uh, Diamond the Body is sick of Gucci using her for clout and clickbait. I told y'all this was going to happen. Gucci knows that the baddies are halfway done filming and baddies is going to drop very soon. So he's going to want that clout and that clickbait. Because everybody's going to be on Diamond the Body's body. So she posted on her story saying, y'all tell Gucci stop calling my phone. Blocked him. I'm done with him for real. She's call I guess he was calling her allegedly on No Carl ID over and over on April Fool's. And said, going back vegan, I'm tired of eating meat. I don't think that's in relation for Gucci. But if it is, I would get why you'd be tired of eating all that meat. That's a big piece of meat. Now, this is what she had to say to Gucci to leave her alone, a.k.a. go home, Roger. This is a public service announcement, okay? I don't know what type of crackhead game this nigga's playing today. April Fool's was fucking yesterday. I don't know why you dragging it over to the next day. Whatever the fuck you got going on. Bitch, I am single as fuck. I am not married. I do not have no ring. I'm damn sure not with no fucking nigga that's embarrassing as fuck. That's for literally everybody. He's for this. You see that? The streets, Okay. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with my name. Stop. I don't know. What What, what did you wake up on today? Want to play with the internet? Don't play with the internet with my fucking name. I'm so, I hate that my name is attached to you. I hate that everything you fucking do, everybody tag me. I hate that bitch. If you sneeze, bitch, they be like diamonds. They bless you. Bitch, I am. That is true, though. <laughs> Anything Gucci does when it comes to a girl, everybody in the comments and me too, I'd be like, oh, I wonder what diamonds going to think. <laughs> Because the, you gotta, people gotta understand. We were introduced to Diamond and Gucci together, so they came as like a package deal. They didn't come in the house as a couple, but on their first season deja vu, they got very close and became a couple. So it's like seeing them separately is kind of like whoa. You get what I'm saying? I have no affiliation with this nigga. I am not with this nigga. I am single as fuck. Please leave me the fuck alone. Okay. Get, stop, stop tagging me. Stop posting shit about me. It's over. Like, let it go, bro. Let it the fuck go. Leave me the fuck alone. Like, seriously. For real. Fuck. This is and she sounds extremely over it. She doesn't sound like she's joking. So, uh, Gucci, leave her alone, please. Please do, okay? But Diamond's talking all that crap. The moment he puts down that designer on her, and I'm not talking about bags. I'm talking about a snake. On her... She is going to have second thoughts. Now, he put on a caption 13 hours ago and said, I finally popped the question uh, at Diamond of Body, my wife with me for life. <laughs> and after, I got gaps, you got gaps. <laughs> we fill each other's gaps. <laughs> Love is absolute loyalty. People fade, looks fade, but loyalty never fades. You can depend so much on certain people. You can set your watch by them. And that's a love. Even if it doesn't seem very exciting. I love you, baby. Hashtag propose. Hashtag marry life. Hashtag take it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is a little bit of a key. And then he put in Bahamas. Well, we all know this was in Miami on the first season of Deja Vu. Please miss us with the BS Gucci. And pressure. Big pressure. What happened? Because the way you was talking on the Mean Girls. I thought you was put that put that pussy down, okay? Lame's not allowed. You might need a life vest around the drow. Lady in the streets, but I don't get around. Apparently Gucci does. Cause damn. 
this doesn't even seem like an April Fool's joke. It seems like he's reminiscent. Now, she commented and said, April Fool's was yesterday. Give it up. This is not true. Good night. Gucci and I are no longer together. He's blocked. Please leave me alone. Gucci, if you really want to do your big one and show Diamond that you're the one for her, and I'm going to tell Gucci this. I want you to fly to Puerto Rico or the next island they're going to. I heard they're going to the DR next. They shade. Y'all heard it from me. Okay. Fly to one of those islands and meet Diamond. And I'll bet you she'll have second thoughts. <laughs> Hopefully one of the baddies doesn't sleep with him before you do. Okay. Diamond. But not for real though. That, that, <sighs> that's a little stalkerish though. If you call her in all them times, that's, that's very irritating. Now, Bianca, you guys, is going to be a huge part of Baddies Caribbean. She's been posting on her threads some of the stuff that she's been going through, uh, some of the shade that she's thrown at some of the girlies. One of them saying, big ass bees always want to try to fight people smaller than them. That's why I got sisters. And then another thread, somebody texted her and said, well, hope we ain't about to pull up slash fly in. I would get that about you, sis. And then she put, because uh, after reality TV, is for life. Okay? Y'all know Bianca Ty like this. All right? Because uh, in a thread before that, she basically talked about how, uh, you know, she got his family and friends that don't handle the big bees. So I'm guessing in the Caribbean, she's getting picked on. Now, a lot of people are rumoring that uh, she's getting into it with Big Sapphire. Okay? Because Sapphire is a big girl. She's not fat, but she's very tall. And if y'all, I've never seen Bianca. Bianca is like four feet nothing. Okay. So that's going to be something to watch when it does go down. All right. Somebody who's keeping an eye out for their daughter is Miss Callie. Uh, Callie's mom, Carlissa. Carlissa uh, put in the comments one of the blogs and says, don't let them beat up my baby for, in regards to Tzatziki. Okay. If y'all don't know, Tzatziki and Callie are very close and they're very cool this season. They are like... I wouldn't say a duo, but they're very uh, kitty clickish. So don't expect them to get into no squabbles. Spoiler alert. Okay. Let me know what y'all think down below about some of these updates. Who are you looking forward to seeing this season? And who will do, do you think their big one? And also, what do you guys think of Diamond and Gucci? Do you think Gucci is the one for Diamond? You're the one for me. You're the one. You're the one for me. Da -da 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 -da. You're the one for me. You're the one. Okay. Gucci might as well fly out and have that girl sing the song. Let me know what y'all think down below. Ain't no personal thing.